In this video, I will show you how you can measure the temperature using an NTC thermistor connected to your Arduino. An NTC thermistor is a resistor that changes its value depending on the temperature. It's not linear, it has this exponential curve. So the first thing we need is a formula. NTC, perfect. This is what we need. Okay, the formula looks like this. Now I'm using an NTC called B57431 V13. This right here. By the way, it is very small. <laughs> so I soldered some wires to it. I'm going to show you how it works with every NTC. The thing that we need is we need to go into the data sheet. Here are all sorts of different NTCs. I have exactly this one. So the first thing that is interesting is the R25. And this is the value right here. This is 10 kilo ohm. And this is the resistance at 25 degrees Celsius. And then we have our B. We have slightly different values of B. And so the first B is the most accurate between 25 and 50 degrees Celsius. And the next one is the most accurate between 25 and 85 and 25 and 100. And so for my smart home, I hope that the temperature will stay at around 25. So I will go with the first value. So my B is 3940 and the temperature Right here is 25 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Now here we need Kelvin. We will measure this thing right here and we are interested in the temperature. This is the temperature. So we need to transform the formula so that we get T equals something. But before we do that, I would like to first take a look at how we can measure the resistance with the Arduino. Now the basic principle is we have one resistor that is fixed, I call it R1, and we have our NTC. And we will connect this to ground to 0 volts and we will connect this to 5 volts. And then this point right here, we will measure. This will go to analog pin zero, for example. By the way, NTC means if the temperature rises, then the resistance goes down. And we can check this with a multimeter. So right now the NTC sits at room temperature and has 9.12 kilo ohm. So it's slightly warmer than 25 degrees. But if I put it into a cup of ice water, then the resistance will go up. Oh <laughs> All right, now a good rule of thumb is that your fixed resistor should have around the same resistance as the NTC exactly at the point where you would like to operate in. So in my case, the temperature point of operation should be 25 degrees. And so I will stick to 10K because this is exactly the NTC's resistance at 25 degrees. Let's put it in. Now one side goes to 5 volt, one side goes to ground and the sense will go to a zero. So first I would like to find out the resistance of the NTC. So we know that this is 10K and we would like to know this resistance right here. And we will measure this voltage A0 right here. Now I will stick to Ohm's law. Now this is R1 and this is our RNTC. RNTC equals VNTC divided by I because the current is the same. We can assume that there is no current flow right here. This should be around zero. And so all the current that is flowing through R1 is also flowing through our NTC. And that's why I'm assuming this. 
and we know the voltage because we measure it with our ADC but we don't know the current however we can calculate the current because the current the current through R1 equals the voltage on R1 divided by R1 and we know R1 and we know the voltage on R1 because the voltage on R1 equals 5 volts minus V and DC divided by R1 we get our current and then we can take this and put it in here and we get out our R and TC. Let's zero begin 9600. Yeah, first I will start with a delay. Let's wait for one second before we send the value. So the first thing that we need is the voltage V and TC. And if you don't know how this is done, check out my video about analog read. Double voltage NTC equals 5.0 divided by 1023 times analog read A0. So let's print this and see if the voltage makes any sense. I would expect around 2.5 volts right now. And if I want to print a floating point variable, I can specify how many decimal places I would like to have. I'll go with two. And of course, you cannot load. Why? Good. Awesome. 2.44. And if it gets warmer, then the voltage drops because then the resistance of the NTC drops. This looks great. How can we translate this voltage into the resistance of the NTC? Well, using this stuff. Let's do it step by step. Double current equals. So the current equals 5.0 minus voltage NTC. And the whole thing divided by R1, and R1 is 10,000. Let's see how big the current is. Well, two decimal places is not enough. Let's do eight. All right, so we have 0 0.25 milliamps. And if I touch the resistor, it goes up, of course, because the resistance goes down. Makes sense. Let's calculate the NTC resistance. Double the resistance of NTC equals. So the resistance is voltage NTC divided by current. And let's output the resistance with two decimal places. This looks great. So we have 9,448. If I touch it, it goes down. So this is our resistance. But now we need to calculate the temperature based on this resistance. So we are interested in T. All right. So let's calculate the temperature. It is one divided by log. If you want the base 10 logarithm, you need to use log 10. But we want the natural logarithm, so we use log RNTC. This is the resistance of the 
NTC divided by R25. This is 10,000 ohm. The whole thing divided by B and B is a constant. And according to the data sheet, it is 3940. I will use floating point numbers here. Plus one over T25 is the temperature, which is 25 degrees. In Kelvin, it is 25 degrees plus 273.15. And then we are good to go. So let's print the temperature. Let's see if I made a mistake. Yes. <laughs> so this is too hot. Ah, yeah, of course. Um, so this is the temperature in Kelvin. And so what I need to do is I need to subtract 273.15. Yeah, this looks about right. It's very hot in here because of the lights. <laughs> Um, so let's touch it and it goes up. Awesome. And yeah, I can also cool it down a little bit with my cup of already warm water. If this video was helpful, please like. If you appreciate me sweating here, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.